Hello, greetings from our team at the All Spares online store. Today, we will introduce you to the Jute Tally LY898 LCD laminating machine. First, we will review the product, and then we will explain how to use it properly. Let's start with our review. On the back panel, there is a plug for connecting the power cable. On the left side of the device, we have a filter and a port for the air supply. On the top, there is a stop button. The front panel has a display for controlling the device. Below, there is a vacuum pressure sensor, a start button, and a button for controlling the press manually. If you open this door, you will see an autoclave chamber and the start button for the compressor. The vacuum press chamber is on the other side, here. Now, we will demonstrate how to properly install the filter. Unscrew these bolts, which are included with the device. Connect the two hoses to the filter and secure it to the sidewall. Be sure to open the pressure valve on the filter. Connect the power cable and turn on the device. Wait until the control panel menu loads. If the language is set to Chinese, press the language button located on the bottom left side of the display and select English. Behind the control panel, there is an autoclave. Inside the autoclave, there is a shelf with slots for inserting LCD modules. Please note that before you start the air pump, you must firmly screw down the autoclave cover. The button located on the control panel operates in parallel with the internal button located above the autoclave. Press the button twice, either on the control panel, inside the door, or once on each for the device to start pumping air. As soon as the pressure indicator reaches 7 bar, the device will automatically turn off. Let's go back to the settings menu and tap the preferences button on the bottom right side. The top half of the screen shows the vacuum press info, and on the bottom we can see info about the autoclave. On the top half, you can set the temperature in the top box and set the operating time for the vacuum press in the box below that. Normal operating temperature is from 45 to 60 degrees Celsius. And the press operating time is usually from 30 to 50 seconds. The other two boxes show the current temperature and elapsed time. The lower half, which shows the autoclave operation, is configured similarly. The temperature range is from 45 to 60 degrees Celsius, and the operating time is from 15 to 30 minutes. The vacuum pressure sensor can be adjusted through the vacuum pressure controller. However, there is no need to change this because the optimal value is already set. If you press the start button, the press will begin to operate. At the same time, the monitor shows how much time is left for the operation. When the time is up, the press will automatically rise. You can open the vacuum press chamber only after the pressure has returned to normal. If you push this button, the press will lower and will remain in that position. To raise the press, you simply push the same button again. Now let's go back to the autoclave. The display shows that the time we set of 3 minutes is coming to an end. After the set time is over, go back to the main menu. The display will show the notification bubble finish. To release the pressure, press the button on the display or the button above the autoclave.
Never open the autoclave doors before the pressure is released. This device does not automatically release pressure. If you enjoyed our video, please like it and subscribe to our channel.